range is going is perfectly again. Watch the seven ball. Seven ball is coming short this time, and uh, the opposite second ball. Ball that was the two ball went straight into the pocket, which is something that one will see happen fairly often with this kind of break. Ever since the magic rack, um, this plastic fabric thingy has been invented. I believe that 10 ball break figures have probably gone up tremendously. Um, for exactly, you know, that reason. Dimitri just overcut the one a little, undercut the four a little and missed it. And is leaving Ronald well, not the easiest shot in the world, to be honest. He might elect to play safe, go two rails behind the six, eight, ten there, unless he's feeling adventurous going for the bank. Oh, he's feeling even more adventurous and uh, played perfect carom onto the four ball and uh, he's now going to have a tough shot there. Of course the reward is big because if he makes this he's going to have position on the three ball automatically. sort of lagged the one ball to the hole in order to make sure that if he missed it, he wouldn't leave a shot. That's the, the smart way of doing it. something. Well, not enough. And again, Ronald is coming to the table with at least, say, a semi-tough shot, in which he needs to make sure that he misses those three balls, which he did, and he's got absolutely perfect position on the three now with slight flat angle punch it out towards the middle of the table. And this is looking good now. what I believe makes a great player. You make a little mistake once in a while, you recover immediately, just go on. Very, very nicely done. Um, the score in race 235 right now, game number 11, goes to Ronald Regley, who is trailing the match by two games to nine. And 
unfortunately for Ronald, the cue ball got kicked towards the corner pocket. I mean, the good thing about it is that it didn't go in, which gives him an opportunity to at least play safe from here. Uh, if not, maybe, maybe, bank one ball. Uh, it's very tough to see from here whether he can do that. And he elects to play safe and gets unlucky. And this looks like a makeable shot, not easy of course, especially the speed is hard to control. But um, Dimitri can see the full ball, so that's... Uh, going to see from players on this level is that um, Dimitri is certainly not going to roll that one ball in, which theoretically is possible. Just hit it thin, pocket it, lag it to the hole, and come short enough to be able to shoot the two, which is something that's so totally ridiculous from the perspective of the top player, because uh, you don't know Exactly. You don't want to see what's going to happen to your cue ball rolling off and whatever. And uh, instead he hit it with speed and is going to bank the two ball. Banked it with confidence and has a perfect good position on the three ball now. There are a variety of ways I can do this, um, one of which is to follow the twin ball two rails out and shoot the four into the middle pocket roughly from where Dimitri pointed to, or, no, nothing, or did exactly what I said to do. And got an absolutely perfect flat angle on the four ball. Game number 12 goes to Dimitri, who is now leading the match by 10 games to 2. 